Creating and running jobs with BMC Helix Control M is simple. To create a job, just drag the job type you want from the palette and drop into the workspace. Complete the job definition by supplying a few values, and that's it. I've already created a few other jobs in this flow. Some database jobs, file transfer jobs, Azure Logic App jobs, Hadoop jobs, along with a few others. For every job, the scheduling, prerequisites, and actions selections allow you to configure more advanced features like defining what resources need to be available for the job to run, enabling a notification or taking an automated recovery action when a job fails, or determining what to do with the output the job generates, like emailing it or copying to a repository. Just as easy is the ability to drag and drop between the individual jobs to determine the predecessor-successor relationship. This flow of jobs is the application workflow needed for a critical IoT sensor data flow. So on this last job, a service level agreement type of job, you can set timing and alert info that will show an alert on the health and status of the flow of jobs, the application workflow service. Once you have your application workflow set just the way you want it, you can use the check-in button to save the workflow into your environment or select the Run Workspace option if you want the workflow to not just be saved, but to also be submitted to Run Now. It's as simple as that to create and submit jobs with BMC Helix Control-M.